Our mission that we chose to accept was to take a team of 13 people from Fusion Christian Church in Temecula, California to the beautiful mountains of Guatemala. Once there, we will visit a small special needs orphanage to love on these precious children. Then we will join a team of 70 other people from all across the United States to conduct medical clinics in two different Mayan villages. We will start construction on a middle school and a high school, as well as host a two-day kids camp in the village of La Pila. Here is our story. So far, we have been having a great time in Guatemala. Yesterday, we got to visit um, a small orphanage with kiddos who have really special needs there, and we got to spend so much time with them and see the joy on their faces. Um, it really humbled us to just know that God is really working in our hearts, and we loved being able to help them. Uh, today we are in La Pila, and we are doing their vacation Bible school, and the kids are already just having so much fun dancing and singing, and we're going to go through the rest of the day and see what else God has in store for us. So you have to think in any ministry, in any missions work, somebody always has to lay the first brick to get something built. And today we get to be part of laying some of the first bricks for these kids that will eventually graduate high school. We'll never get to meet them, but they're gonna have a better education, learn about the Lord. It's gonna be amazing. And we get to be part of that. When GCO started up here and they built that school, only 20% of the kids were at proper nutrition. Now, 100% of them are between all the stuff that they've set up for them, bringing food and all that stuff to them. So it's quite an accomplishment. It's good. It's hard work, but it's all worth it. <laughs> this is like, what, 80 pounds or maybe 100 pounds? When the Ministry of Health did a study on these kids, they were in the bottom decile of of height and weight. Um, so we started with a feeding program, uh, we started with an education program, we did the water purification program, and a couple of years later, uh, the Ministry of Ed uh, Health actually came back and weighed the kids and found that they actually were in the 60th to the 70th percentile in height and weight. And we were seeing less dropouts uh, and better attention from the school teachers that were telling us. Uncle Zach just became, a few minutes ago, a grandpa! He ain't proud. No. Woo! I hope you got a lot of money, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna get, a, go on and get another job. Get another job. Mastering you're you're Mastering a grandpa Andrew, now. Probably working at Mickey D's. Yeah. Probably, maybe in and out. I don't know, something. <laughs> 